Welcome, boys and girls. This is Bible for Monday. I have a special guest with me today. This is Darla, Dr. Darla. Hello, Dr. Darla. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, Trudy. Hi. We can't understand you very well, Dr. Darla. Why are you wearing your mask? I don't want to get any, any, any germs. You don't want to give anybody any germs, but that you can't give them your germs. Mm -hmm. No, you can't, not not through the video. They can't catch your germs. All right, I was just concerned. I guess I'll take it off. All right, while she's taking her mask off, I invited her today because you're going to be seeing a video tomorrow that is of a paralyzed man and his friends want him to get to see Jesus, but everything is so crowded. There's so many crowds. How do you get a paralyzed man through? They didn't have wheelchairs in those days. So they got him to Jesus, but it wasn't easy. And I want you to watch the video tomorrow. It's a really quick video. So I want you to listen very carefully because you know, when Jesus came, he did heal a lot of people to show us that he has the power to do it. But that wasn't the main reason he came. And if you listen very closely, you're going to hear him tell the paralyzed man. Paralyzed means that he couldn't get up and walk and run around. He told the paralyzed man that his sins were forgiven. Oh, the Pharisee standing by has a reaction. Remember, we talked about Pharisees and scribes. They thought that they knew the Bible. They were very religious. They thought they were very good people. And that's called self-righteous. When you think you're good and you do not see your own sin, and that's how the Pharisees were. And they were telling other people to keep God's law, but they weren't always keeping God's law 100%. And so that's called being a hypocrite. When you tell someone else to do something and you don't do it yourself. And we often find that we can be hypocrites. Well, when Jesus came, he didn't just come to heal people. He came to meet a deeper need. Our need to have our sins forgiven. Our need to have the power to really love and be unselfish. And in the video tomorrow, I want you to watch for that and see if you can figure out which man is the Pharisee. I think you'll know which man is the paralyzed man. And in the videos, you're going to be seeing different actors acting out the parts. And again, we don't, we didn't have a video camera of Jesus. So when you see Jesus in some video clips I show you, he's going to be one actor in another video clip, he's gonna be another actor. So that just gives you an idea that we don't really know what Jesus looked like. And again, it's just acting. So we don't know exactly how Jesus acted, but his words are very, very important. So we're going to be sure that we listen to his words. Now, Dr. Darla, do you have your mask off? There, does that look better? Oh, that's much better. We can understand you now. Now, Dr. Darla, I was wondering, you look a little bit frazzled. Well, oh, things have been just busy, 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 you know. Okay, well, have you uh, uh, ever delivered any babies? Oh, that's my favorite job. Oh, I love that. I heard we have some babies in your class, uh, siblings. We do, we do. We have Jonah, who was just newly born, Joel's little brother. Oh, congratulations, Joel. And, and we also have Romeo and Grayson, and it's been a great year as far as babies go. Hi, babies. I just adore babies. I do too. Now, you know, Nicodemus was confused. Uh, he was a Pharisee. Oh, was he a hypocrite? Well, you know, we don't know that much about Nicodemus, except that he wanted to sneak to see Jesus at nighttime. He was afraid to be seen with Jesus, even though he respected that Jesus was a really good teacher. And he went at nighttime, so apparently, so nobody could see him. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I should be embarrassed to go see Jesus. 
I would hope we wouldn't be embarrassed. But you know, the Pharisees really didn't like what Jesus was doing and saying. Even when he healed people, oh, it's sad to say, but even when he healed people, they were jealous because he could do things that they couldn't do. Oh my, that's terrible. We shouldn't be jealous of God. Of course he can do things we can't do. That's right, and they did not want to believe that he was God the Son. So what we want to uh, talk about today, too, is, again, that Jesus came to meet a deeper need. And Nicodemus was only thinking of the physical need of being, when Jesus said, be born again, he just thought about being born as a baby, right, to be born again as a baby. And that isn't what Jesus meant. Well, then what did Jesus mean? Well, he meant to be born spiritually in God's family, and he told us how to do that by believing that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. Only begotten? Does that mean the only born Son? Well, actually, Jesus wasn't just born into the earth and existed from the time he was born here on earth. He existed even before that. So he is the eternal son of God. So actually, the only begotten of the father means that he's unique, one of a kind. Uh, we are sons of God or children of God when we, how are we born and children of God? When we're born into God's family. How? When we put our faith in Jesus Christ, that he died for us. Oh, right. And remember, it's not of our works. It's only through Jesus Christ because he's good and we aren't always good. Now, Nicodemus was only thinking of the physical, of being born as a physical person. But Jesus was saying we need a spiritual birth also if we're going to live in heaven with God. So when we trust Jesus as our Savior, that's when we're born spiritually. And then when we get to heaven, we can get a new body. So the what I want to do is just go over that worksheet. And then we're going to talk about the new worksheet that you're going to do today. So thank you for being with us, Dr. Darla. And uh, we might have you back again. How would that sound? Oh, that would be just great. Bye, kids. Take care of those babies. All right. If you don't have your Bible folder, put me on hold and go get it. We're going to look at your answers for You Must Be Born Again. I hope you liked the John Chapter 3 video that you got to see last week. We're on number one. Again, this is Review Sheet Lesson 37. Number one, Nicodemus believed that Jesus was sent by God because Nicodemus saw the blank that Jesus did. Did you get miracles? Very good. Number two, the Pharisees were trusting in their blank blank to get them to heaven. Did you put good works? That's right, they thought they were good, but no one is good 100% of the time. They also thought that God would accept them because they were descendants of, who was that really important character? Abraham. They thought, well, we're descendants of Abraham, so of course we would be in God's family, but they weren't. They needed to be born into God's family spiritually. Number three. Jesus said that we must be born again. We must hear, understand, and believe what? God's word. Number four, God the blank blank uses God's word to cause us to be born into God's family. God the, that's right, Holy Spirit. Number five, Jesus came to be our deliverer from sin excuse me, to be our deliverer from Satan and sin and death. God saves whoever blanks in Jesus Christ. That's right, believes. That means to put our faith or trust in Jesus to save us, realizing we can't save ourselves. Now, today you're going to work on lesson 38 which looks like this. 
Jesus showed that he is truly God. And you're only going to need to answer, well, let's see. No, you should be able to do the whole page after we talk a little bit today. Now, what I wanted to do was prepare you, uh, well, I already did tell you about the short video tomorrow. And I want you to know also that when Jesus picked his 12 disciples, he picked common people. He didn't look for the president of a country. He didn't look for governors and movie stars. Well, I don't think they had movie stars, but they didn't have movies yet. But they probably had actresses and people who were famous, uh, famous orators or speakers, uh, people that were super well educated and had been to college for a million years and well, not a million years, right? He picked just common people, everyday people who do everyday tasks. He picked tax collectors like Matthew. He picked fishermen like James, John, Andrew, and Peter. So it's gonna, you're gonna fill in some blanks about some of the disciples. And I also want you to remember what we talked about with the Pharisees that they were hypocrites. And you're going to see in more and more of the videos that I show you that the Pharisees get more and more upset at Jesus because they're jealous and also because they think they're good, they think they know it all, and they are hypocrites. They do not see their own sin. You know, sometimes that's the hardest thing to see is your own sin. It's easier to see everybody else's sin, but it's sometimes hard to admit when we've done something wrong. And that's how the Pharisees are. So that is being a hypocrite. I think that's everything I need to tell you. So see if you can get the correct answers in the blank. And then tomorrow, I'm not going to talk to you for Bible. I'm just going to have you uh, work on, I believe it's this, yes, work on this sheet. So you, can, you have today and tomorrow to work on this and the really short video clip tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we'll go over this page and we will talk about or maybe on Thursday, we'll go over both this page and the next page. So you're going to be seeing on Wednesday a video of Jesus calming the sea. All right. God loves you, and I'm praying for you, dear Lord. Watch over all these precious students and their families and bring us through this and Help us to make history in a, in a good way in our own families. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.